I want to show you Judge Kavanaugh discussing his philosophy right after he was nominated. Roll tape. My judicial philosophy is straightforward. A judge must be independent and must interpret the law, not make the law. A judge must interpret statutes as written. And a judge must interpret the Constitution as written, informed by history and tradition and precedent. All right, joining us now is Carrie Severino. She is with the Judicial Crisis Network, and she is a former clerk to Justice Clarence Thomas. Welcome to the program. Good to see you, ma'am. You Thank are spending you. big to get uh, Judge Kavanaugh appointed and confirmed. At the, at the bottom of all of this, do you want to overturn Roe v. Wade and gay marriage? No, at the bottom of this, we want the kind of judge or the kind of justice that Judge Kavanaugh describes, someone who's faithful to the law, someone who's faithful to the Constitution. Uh, this isn't about a laundry list of issues. I know some people treat the courts that way. My philosophy, and I think, thankfully, out of the president, is we want someone with judicial principles. That will allow that the uh, American people's representatives, Congress, to be the ones who are making the laws. And then we have judges that are just going to apply them without substituting their own policy preferences. Is this the man, or this is the person, this is the judge, you, you would have preferred, because he fits your your image of someone who will stick straight with the Constitution. Well, I was very happy with all, all the finalists in the list, but I have to say I've been really impressed with the applause we're getting from Kavanaugh, even from people on the left. People like Yale Law Professor Akhil Ridamar, solid liberal, but he's saying, look, guys, give this guy a chance because this is, this is someone who's incredibly qualified, one of the leading judges on the federal bench, known nationwide, someone who's cited regularly by the Supreme Court. I, I found at least a dozen cases where the Supreme Court adopted his reasoning. So he's so well respected. I think even people on the left are going to say, you know, we might not agree with President Trump and everything, but for a Trump nominee, even they think it's not going to get better than that. And I think people who agree with Trump are going to be over, overjoyed. Well, as you know, obviously, it's going to be a brutal, drag-out fight. Um, and you're going to be spending money during that fight to try to get Justice uh, Kavanaugh confirmed. How are you spending that money? Spending it on what? Well, we just launched an ad campaign in Democrat states, or Demo states where the Democrat centers, but they're red states, like Alabama, North Dakota, West Virginia, Indiana, as well as we have a website called confirmkavanaugh.com. So if you want to learn more about him, see videos or, or his bio or some of his major issues he's ruled on, that's all there. We also have a huge uh, grassroots and networks uh, campaign. There's about 200 okay. plus conservative organizations. There's a lot of different fronts where we are Can wanting I, um, to make sure people hear about the justice. Yeah, I just want to jump in for a second because you are targeting uh, those Democrat senators who are up for re-election in states which Mr. Trump won very well and very easily in 2016. I'm thinking right. West Virginia, North Dakota and um, Indiana. You're targeting those three Democrat senators there up for election, re-election. That, that's right. As well as Alabama, where we have Senator Jones, who wasn't here during the Gorsuch confirmation, okay. but obviously Alabama, a very red state, and somewhere where, where President Trump is very popular. And boy, if all the things Trump is popular for, this is the absolute winner. Supreme Court nominees is something that drove people to the polls for the president, and they've been very happy with. And particularly those three that are up for re-election, they voted for Gorsuch. I, I don't see how you can vote for Justice Gorsuch and then look at Brett Kavanaugh and not say, this is someone in the same line. He has even more experience on the bench and, you know, even, even more of a, of a reputation in legal circles than Justice Kavanaugh did, or Justice Gorsuch did. So yeah, I think it should be an easy decision for them, but they're going to get a lot of pressure from the far liberal fringes. So uh, we'll see sure. how they walk that tightrope. Kerry Severino, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks.